Hey everybody, Black Ninja 797 here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to end up getting the last dash achievement inside of Left 4 Dead 2. This is one of the brand new achievements that they added in with the last stand update, and this is one of, if not possibly, one of the hardest achievements in Left 4 Dead 2. Because with this achievement, I looked at the stats, and like 0.1% of players have this achievement. And whenever I looked up gameplay, people just show the gameplay and they don't commentate on what their strategy was, it seems like. So I, for helping you in this case, I'm going to show you not only the gameplay, but I'm going to be telling you what you need to do in order to end up getting this achievement. There is very nitpicky things about this achievement, but there's also some things that you may or may not know that will actually end up being in your favor that I can brush over for you real quick. Number one that I want to let you know is that this achievement is going to be best done on easy mode difficulty in solo. You could end up doing this with your friends theoretically, but you are going to have the easiest 100% time playing this on solo mode on easy. Solo mode on easy will give you the most amount of control over your circumstances. Yes, you might end up having circumstances where the director might spawn something in front of you, and then therefore, because the bots are stupid, they might not save you. It, like, I've had that happen to me, trust me. Sometimes the director would be like, Oh, hey, you're running away from your teammates, let's spawn a tank right in front of a hallway that you can't go around them. You know, stuff like that. So, but even with that, you want to play solo on easy mode. Because the game is obviously going to be the most easy at that point, regardless of what spawns in front of you. You can see in instances like this, I end up getting smoked, and even though my teammates don't save me right away, I still get barely saved, just enough that at the end I will end up having it. Seconds count, but you can forgive yourself if it's like roughly around under 30 seconds. I, I would say the most amount of time that you could end up screwing up before I would say take a reset is like one and a half minutes. Because usually on this achievement, for me personally, I got it just in time. Like, it says you can get it in 13 minutes or less. That is the time frame you're trying to beat. You have to end up completing the campaign, the whole entire campaign, in 13 minutes or less without anybody dying. And for me personally, I barely got it. In fact, it was actually almost just perfect. Because I will explain another thing in just a second here. But yes, the easiest way you can do this is playing easy mode in solo because that is your most fair circumstance. The second thing I also want to let you know is that you should end up setting a timer. I personally have a Google Mini and you may have something like an Alexa or something like that. And what I did is I said, you know, hey, blah, 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 set an alarm for 13 minutes. And then I would end up having my game load in. And when the timer beeped, I knew that my time was up. So I would recommend having a timer on you because that way you can be able to just restart if you know your time is up. And also as well is that when you end up doing this, just so you know, if you reset your campaign, yeah, it's, that's fine. If you reset your campaign, your 13 minutes start from scratch. You don't need to go back in the lobby. Now, this is the most uh, crucial part of this speedrun slash achievement that you must know. At the end of the game, when you end up seeing all your stats on what you end up doing that game, a lot of people may not know this because this would just be skimming over it for years now, but it will tell you how long it took you to beat said campaign. It always has told you this since the beginning. Now, with this achievement in particular, I noticed, because I, I just said, yeah, screw it, I'm just going to see what time I can get anyway. I didn't end my game right away. I actually have been practicing, and I was always like one minute behind, so I was just like, ah, screw it, let's just see what I can get. I want to let you know this. The time does not allocate for seconds, it is just minutes. So, in, in, a, in a theory sense, you could technically get away with actually 13 minutes and up to 59 seconds, or basically an extra minute with gameplay. Let me explain. So, at the end of the game, this is usually the most crucial part, you need to end up getting killing fast, because you're in a camping position, and the faster the enemies die, the next wave of enemies can spawn, and therefore you're going to get through the ending of the finale a lot quicker. Because you have to get to the gas cans, you got to kill the tanks, and then you got to get to the boat. The thing that you must know this, is that with the, uh, the campaign here, 
when it tells you at the end, you survived, blah, 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 you, you completed this many challenges, blah, blah, blah. At the end, when I said that it has that time saying it took you this long to beat the campaign, since it doesn't allocate for seconds, as long as it's not 14 minutes or over, rather than 13 minutes or under, in this case, you can actually go like 13 minutes and up to 59 seconds, you can still get this achievement. Because there was instances where I would get to the very end, and like, as you'll see in this gameplay, you won't hear the audio, but you'll see in this gameplay... That when, by the time that I'm starting to run to the bow after I just killed the last tank, my alarm already went off. Therefore, it's already past 13 minutes. But because it's not at 14 minutes yet, since the, the game doesn't technically count for seconds, it still gave me the achievement anyway. If it, if it was allocating for seconds, I wouldn't have gotten it. But it allowed me to be able to do 13 minutes in an odd amount of seconds. My guess is I probably got to the end more rather at like 13 minutes and like probably, I would say, 45 to 50 seconds and still therefore allow me to get so if your alarm goes up I cal up calibrate for another minute I would say set an alarm for 14 minutes because if that goes off then you definitely know you didn't make it rather than just setting one for 13 it's just easy to best to not screw with your head that way the other thing that I also want to mention is that when you're having a setup you want to have a assault rifle you want to have a melee weapon you want to have a rotation between Molotovs and pipe bombs, according to the certain effective that you may or may not run against. You want to end up having a med kit, obviously, and you want to have the adrenaline shots. Adrenaline shots and pipe bombs, if they're available, just use them. If you if you see a pipe bomb, throw one and clear the horde for you and just, ex, just eliminate all the zombies you can. If you have an adrenaline shot, don't worry about wasting it. Just stick yourself with it. You're going to be able to run faster and then therefore you can get to the checkpoints faster. If you have a melee weapon, find it. There's a default one in spawn. There's two of them actually. There's the axe and then there's the shovel. Pick that up with you so that way if you're in the middle of a reload and you are surrounded, you can hack and slash. And then assault rifle is the best. I just picked up whatever one happened to spawn in my campaign. For me, in this case, it was the scar. I tried thinking that shotguns would work a lot better but the fact that the shotguns it's just you can't spray and pray as hard i i just didn't like it plus also the ar is a cal uh, calibrate for more of range the ars are the best range for the best amount of firing speed in this instance and they just make the best for the campaign now when you get to the finale do not worry about finding stuff just start the finale start it and then pick up the adrenaline shots and the pipe bombs that you see lying around you don't want to worry about getting set up. You don't want to worry about your teammates catching up to you. Never worry about your teammates in this instance unless they're literally going to die. Because yes, in this achievement, you can only end up getting it if you and your teammates live. You can't have your teammates get killed. Like, you can't get on the boat and because they're taking too long, you switch to expert to kill them. You can't do that. You need to have all your teammates survive the whole entire campaign. And that, otherwise, you just don't get it. My other tip to you as well is that since that is the case... Do not stand on the top of the lighthouse at all. If you stand on the top of the lighthouse, you can either get a charger to run you off, a tank to knock you off, your, your teammates could fall for whatever goddamn reason. Just do not sit on the top of the lighthouse. Only do it if you're trying to end up getting somebody, like trying to revive them from like a smoker or something, or if you're trying to grab the pipe bombs or the uh, boomer biles that are just sitting on the top here. The best bet for you is that way, since that way you don't get fall damage, is to just sit on the first floor near the house. Do not be on the edge of the map and do not be elevated. This is most likely a way that the zombies are probably going to kill you. I literally had an instance where a charger went all the way around, came through the window on the second roof, and charged off Lewis, and because Lewis died, I couldn't complete the achievement. I had to start all over again. It was very frustrating. As much as I don't like Lewis, and it was kind of glorious seeing that, I did not like the fact that I got my achievement stopped. So basically, other than that, there's only a few more things left that you can end up doing. The best thing that I recommend for you is just killing all the common infected and all special infected as literally as fast as you can. The best way that you can end up doing this is just actually going after them. Once you are in the camping position and you know you can't move anywhere, just, just purposely rush the zombies and try to end up killing them to get their spawns uh, to go by faster. Because it's going to be horde, tank, horde, tank, you know, stuff like that. You're going to have horde, tank, uh, gas can, horde, tank. And then you have the boat. So basically what you want to do is you want to just kill them all as fast as you can. So that way you can get through their cycle. Because the hordes and the tanks determine how closer you get to the end. It doesn't matter how many special infected you kill. If once you kill a tank you'll get another wave that's getting closer to the end of the finale. Same thing with the hordes etc etc etc. 
when you also end up getting the gas can step by the way you want to preemptively save yourself a couple seconds and stand near the spawns you can see that any green gas cans you stand nearby you want to take advantage of that and always stick yourself with an adrenaline shot and just keep grabbing them and flinging them towards the the gas pump area you want to make sure that you have an adrenaline shot because this will not only make you run faster towards it but it'll allow you to be able to put in the gas a lot faster plus also as well is that this step has an endless horde always chasing you so a pipe bomb a bio bomb or a adrenaline shot is best in this scenario you want to really save yourself these couple of seconds because they all add up especially since you end up getting in the instances where you might just barely do this achievement. Like I said, I actually did this achievement technically late. I legitimately thought it had to be 13 minutes or under, but with that extra second factor, that definitely helps me. But you really, really, really want to end up getting this taken care of. The first three at the top of the house, those are the easiest. The bottom ones are always the hardest just because they are on a downward slant and you can't really see at a certain angle. Just try to end up cutting corners and taking whatever legitimately is the straightest shot. Because luckily, if you're doing this on easy mode, which I hope, I hope to God that you are. If you're not, then you're a freaking saint. But luckily, you only have to do six gas cans on easy mode. Now keep in mind also as well is that this particular area, that bu uh, little bunker area I just opened with the radio, that area almost always has either adrenaline shots, molotovs, or pipe bombs. So when you're getting that gas can, make sure to pick it up so you can stick yourself or grab some extra stuff again. You you, you really got to save yourself those seconds. You got to be like on the fly, then no BS. Like don't worry about your teammates unless, like I said, they're generally going to die. You think the bots can't save each other. Do not worry about trying to kill all the special infected. Walk around them. The bots will kill them for you. Do not worry about trying to save your teammates. If Francis is smoked or Bill is hunted or Lewis is charged, don't worry about it. They will hopefully save each other because apparently the bots act like it's life or death scenario even though <laughs> they're kind of bad at their job. But don't worry about trying to be perfect. It's not about being perfect. It's just about being the fastest. If you end up having yellow HP, if Lewis is in the red, if you genuinely have a close call, don't worry. Just keep, keep, keep going because if you just keep going, you'll eventually just kind of just tough your way through the situation. I, I've noticed that if I end up trying to end up being perfect, if I try to kill a tank, if I try to end up, you know, avoiding the witch too meticulously, if I worry about saving my adrenaline shots for the perfect time, it, that's usually what results in me getting either killed or not getting the achievement. Because I would say out of all the achievements, this one is just nitpicky, because it, it literally comes down to spawn logic and your, your, your spawn luck. You could have an instance where a witch might spawn blatantly in an area that is un, un or like where you're not even able to walk around her. You must kill her. Or you might have an instance where the tank doesn't show up fast enough and you can't kill him. Therefore, the boat spawn doesn't show up yet. You have these little nitpicky things that you're you're just gonna probably have to play it by ear. I cannot legitimately guarantee you how to do this a 100% perfect tutorial. All I can just say is do what a mixture of my tips. And then just try your best when just keep restarting if you have to because this is the end of the game pretty much right here and this is where my alarm started to go off as it was right as we were killing this tank and my alarm was going off and i'm like ah screw it and i was just seeing like how good of a score i can get and once i killed that tank i did run down as fast as i can with my adrenaline shot to this boat just be as meticulous as you can only if you have to be other than that just literally just go leroy jenkins <laughs> But yeah, guys, this is basically it for the end of the video. We're pretty much wrapping things up here, and you guys are going to see in a moment that the achievement will indeed pop up. Uh, just before the video does end, though, I definitely would appreciate it if you guys could consider dropping a like, comment, subscribe, all that beautiful stuff. You guys really end up enjoying all my grindy achievement or helpful videos, and I definitely appreciate that. So if we could end up getting this video somewhere around four likes, that'd be tremendously appreciated. I'd be forever grateful. But yeah, guys, this is going to end up being it for today's video. I truly hope you ended up enjoying. Just one last time, if you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. But I hope you guys enjoyed another YouTube video for the most unique YouTuber that you're ever going to see. And I hope this ends up helping you be able to end up getting the last NAS achievement. Thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.